steps inside City Hall. And in other news, in 2003, city voters overwhelmingly rejected a proposal that would have eliminated political primaries. But the national frustration with both political parties may be giving supporters of the failed effort new hope in the five boroughs. Our Grace Rao has that story. To hear members of Mayor Bloomberg's new Charter Revision Commission tell it, there is no specific agenda they've been asked to pursue. Let me make it clear, the mayor has not given me any directives at all. That said, revising the city's term limits law is widely considered to be the commission's top priority. But that issue aside, there is room for others, including one issue the mayor holds dear, nonpartisan elections. Nonpartisan elections, things of this nature, I imagine are going to come up. In his first term at City Hall, Mayor Bloomberg reached into his own pocket to fight for an end to party politics in city races. The measure was soundly defeated. He indicated Thursday, though, that he might be willing to give it another go. I thought it was a ways to improve the democratic process in New York City. I spent a lot of money. I didn't get much support. Um, if I were them, I would, uh, I would consider it. Partisan gridlock in Washington, corruption in the city council, and political scandal in Albany may help advocates make their case for doing away with political primaries. Harry Kresge, a lawyer for the New York City Independence Party, says he sees a new opening. So I think what's happening nationally is critical. Uh, the American people are fed up with partisanship. Partisanship certainly infects politics in New York City and, and New York State. We've seen some of the really detrimental effects of it. And the mayor's newest political aide, Howard Wolfson, could play an unexpected role in this fight. Wolfson worked for the state Democratic Party and fought the mayor's nonpartisan push back in 2003. Even if Wolfson doesn't get involved in the debate this time around, one thing's for sure. He won't be working for those opposed to changing the system. In Manhattan, Grace Rao, Inside City Hall. All right, thank you, Grace. It's time for us to take a break. But